Hi Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, um, we're going to find out who, how, and when is your next serious relationship. And this is a collective reading for Earth Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Earth Sign, okay? Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for our signs Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Their next serious relationship. The world at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Earth Signs. So this person, some of you maybe have already met this person, some of you, you haven't yet. If you haven't met this person yet, maybe you're not going to resonate with this reading, okay? But I feel like the tower can indicate that this is going to be a surprise. Because the Page of Pentacles and Rivers can indicate maybe your next year's relationship will be with somebody either younger than you are or somebody whom... Um, could be living far away from you at a distance or that someone you didn't think that would be compatible with you in some way shape or form and another thing i'm hearing is that maybe someone who wasn't ready to commit and eventually is going to commit because we've got the ten of cups here and the hierophant as well as the ace of swords so this is going to be a big big surprise uh, earth signs. We've got the strength here and the page of wands. This person most likely is going to be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, somebody like you are. And any fixed signs, yeah, because of the world here. And I feel like this, your next year's relationship is, is going to be it. Timing wise, I don't know, in the near future, okay? Timing when it comes to tarot reading, it's, it's not very accurate. But we're reading for the near future, so in the near future, okay? And the world here, again, can indicate maybe this person lives far away from you or that you will have to travel to meet this person or this person will have to travel to meet you. If it's not that, it, the world can just indicate that your life is going to change. This is it. This is it. You're going to have this new chapter with this person and the higher fun here indicates marriage. So... Uh, most likely this um, next year's relationship is going to turn into a marriage and ace of swords here indicates a very successful new beginning um i don't know i'm getting something like look at the page of pentacles here in my verse so it feels like again okay, maybe this person is either very much younger than you are or seem seem kind of immature and not ready to settle down there is somebody whom you're going to be meeting or perhaps you have already met this person may not seem to be ready for a commitment, but then there is a tower here. So this for me indicates it, it's really, really unexpected. Unless the tower can indicate you meeting this person unexpectedly, okay? Maybe at a in a different country um, or while you're traveling. Again, page of wands. Younger, definitely a younger energy, younger than you are, okay? And the um, strength card here indicates a Leo. So this person be a Leo. Can be any fire signs, yeah? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I think, you know, the thing is like this person may be somebody who's, when you meet them or some of you maybe have already met them, they may not be completely ready. It feels like, I mean, this person may have told themselves I'm not ready, I just want to explore, I just want to travel, or I just want to um, do whatever, <laughs> do whatever that makes me happy. Um, they look at themselves as I'm still young or that I, I'm still young at heart and I'm not ready to commit. But 
lo and behold, <laughs> with a tower and a hierophant here, both of you will end up in a serious, serious relationship. And it's just not any serious relationship. I feel like it's a serious relationship that could turn into a marriage, okay? Look at the Ten of Cups here. That means this is somebody you're gonna end up being with long term, okay? And Ace of Swords, it's almost like, you know, the Ace of Swords and the Tower feels like an aha moment or somebody finally realizing or having this clarity that they really would like this uh, relationship to work out or really want this relationship to go far. Because with the Ten of Wands here, you've got two tens here. So an ending and a new beginning. See, the Nine of Cups here in reverse. So it's going to be a little bit hard for this person, unless roles are being reversed here, unless it's you. It's going to be a little bit hard for this person to um, let go of their singlehood but they are willing to do that or that they will be willing to do that it's not going to be easy ten of wands but i feel like our signs this person is going to see that you are worth it you're worth their time their energy they're, you're worth them um committing maybe because both of you will share the same values or same goals in life in the ten of cups here perhaps this person is gonna could this person could foresee like a very happy um, connection or very happy future with you. It's like, I don't know, I'm just getting that. This person could be, could end up thinking that, hey, you know what, I'll, I'm gonna be happier with earth signs than not being with earth signs, okay? So there will be a little bit of a delay with the Page of Pentacles here. This person may delay offering you commitment they may because they still seem young at heart whether they're young or not but i'm sensing for a lot of you they are younger than you are if not if they're older then they may seem a little bit immature and still wanting to explore and still wanting to do their own thing right but i do sense like eventually with the ten of cups here both of you are going to be really happy and these two cards for me indicates a marriage okay and the ace of swords you know, it's a new beginning, it's a new successful beginning, but a new beginning that um, somebody needs to sort of get rid of something or cut something out. Perhaps it could be cutting, um, cutting out that disbelief in marriage or that disbelief in relationships in general or just not ready so i again with the tower tower is a major kind of so is the strength so is the hierophant one two three cards here so this is a life-changing serious relationship big major change but a really really good change <laughs> I'm, I'm sensing uh, for some of you earth signs it could just indicate the tower here that you're going to meet this person very unexpectedly while you are traveling or while they're traveling it could be that the world here look at this. this is another travel card may not always mean that but um let's see more okay see look at the two cups here both of you will come to an agreement that we both of you want the same thing okay and seven of cups here it well, it could be you or this person, but then the Seven of Cups can indicate, you know, somebody could be thinking. When I say somebody, that means it could be you or the other person. So Seven of Cups indicates, you know, I'm, I'm not too sure, you know. Um, have I really weighed my options yet? You know, you could be dealing with someone currently or in the future where they may seem kind of confused and not sure. Uh, maybe because there's something going on in your life with the devil here in reverse, they may have to release someone or something or release their demons. You know, any demons, negativities, or um, they could be going through something that is really dark, okay? And it could be addiction, anything. And I feel like this person is going to change. Again, the world indicates a ma like it's a major kind of in the tower here. It's a huge change. So there is a change of heart, and this person maybe may end up feeling that you know I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to fall in love with our signs, or that you may not be expecting to fall in love with this this person either. 
okay it could be both of you or it could be one of you but a decision will be made that let's let's make this happen let's start a new chapter and again with the tower here it's it's gonna be unexpected because i don't think that this person is ready or that you may not be ready either or either one of you but then it's just it just fits right the shoes fit <laughs> at the end of it so eight of pentacles and reverse it feels like earth signs um this connection may require some work but then somebody is going to think that maybe i i think too much right maybe i think too much maybe i should just give this a go because it just feels right maybe it's just my own fear my own insecurities maybe it's me overthinking thinking way too much and that maybe you know either one of you or both of you could just like hey you know what <laughs> let's do it let's just do it and i feel like with the higher fund here you're gonna have blessings from your parents okay from your parents from their parents you know the ten of cups indicates family as well friends close friends family members i think everyone is going to agree to this this connection although it may seem like a unexpected connection there there's something a little bit different or weird about this relationship that at first people are going to doubt it or that they are gonna doubt it or you're gonna doubt it but eventually both of you are gonna come together and come to an agreement here with ace of swords that both of you are gonna work together it's almost like painting this picture of happily ever after both of you are gonna be able to see that both of you belong to each other and that both of you are going to work towards the future together okay with the ten of cups i'm not going to say that it's you know it's a bed of roses i feel like it's not going to be easy but a decision will be made that's what i'm getting here you're going to make a decision or they are going to make a decision both of you are going to make a decision come together and work as a team work towards the future it may not be easy again with the ten of wands here because either one of you may have to sacrifice something may have to cut out something um it may not be 100 percent ideal but in the long run with the ten of cups here that is going to be well worth it um and we've got these seven of wands here i feel like both of you are going to be fighting really hard for this connection and for some of you if it, it, it could be because of distance okay and for some of you it, it could be because either one of you could be struggling from something from the past or addictions or third party it can be anything but something that needs to be released in order for both of you to come together i feel like it's going to be released anyway because the world here indicates both of you are, are going to have this new start together and it feels really really unexpected all right earth signs regulatory and capricorn this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form um oh i forgot to mention um how long again timing is 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 really not accurate again when it comes to tarot reading and divine timing for each and every one of you is different and also this is a general reading i would say like within the ace of swords i keep looking at the ace of swords here <clears throat> within a week a month a year or on the first of january or on the first of certain dates of first january or first uh, or first of february okay mm. yeah all right earth signs this is your reading <laughs> and if you resonated don't forget to hit like share and subscribe i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below I'll leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. No, three playlists, actually. One of it is from my travel channel. It's, yeah, travel channel. Check it out if you want to. Um, and two other playlists. It's all jumbled up, but check it out if you want to. I post your videos almost every single day. So these videos, these readings are still relatively new. So they're still relevant. Hope to um, check it out if you want to again. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, Earth Science. Bye.